Now, live, local to news daybreak at 5 a.m. The Bayou City Art Festival is coming back for another year at Memorial Park. And here to tell us more is artist Eric Ober and Art Colony Association President Joe Pokey. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Good morning. Eric, let's start with you because uh, you're a local artist. And uh, this festival is really near and dear to your heart. This is kind of where you got your start, right? It sure is. Uh, I studied as an engineer, and I worked in the engineering world for about three years. And one year, I went to the Bayou City Art Festival. I was doing art as a hobby, saw the work there, and thought that, you know, I'm going to apply and try this out. And uh, I got into the next festival. I sold one very good piece and got a large corporate commission from a local Houston corporation. And that really funded me starting up my career as a professional artist. That is amazing. What about engineering? What no about longer? it? No longer? <laughs> no, no. I, I've devoted myself to the art full time. I enjoyed that while I was doing it, but this yeah. was really a lifelong dream of mine, so I pursued it. That is fantastic and Joe this is really what it's all about because this is such an amazing festival right here in the heart of the Bayou City it is it's you know one of the tops of the country it's uh, 35 years it's in, and it's so great to hear local isn't now, that wonderful it, it is it's truly fantastic and you know we have over a uh, thousand applications for the spring festival that come from us from all over the world mm -hmm. and we narrow it down to 300 and then Memorial Park, we're the only festival in Memorial Park, I know. and the setting is just awesome. I mean, it's just great. Uh, we had a record crowd last year, did 30,000 folks. Oh, amazing. Um, it is, it's, and it's a, it's a great time to come out, and you'll find art of all types. So depending on what your tastes are, we will have something there for you. And, and that's what you mean by as far as the material that is used. Like, Eric, uh, this is metal, right? Correct. I do my work in several different types of metal, bronze, stainless steel, aluminum, and steel. This piece is a stainless steel piece, and this is a painted steel piece. It's really beautiful. Where do you get your inspiration? You know, I get my information, inspiration from just life, from my family, my kids. When I went to Rice, I uh, took ballroom dancing for about four years, and I love to dance with my wife. So this is part of my, like, dancer series. This piece is called The Waltz. Oh. So I just take experiences from my life and try and translate them into my work. Oh, it's fantastic. And just one of 300 artists you're going to see. And also, I need to mention, too, because this festival has been ranked top five favorite art festivals in America by American Style Magazine last year. So fantastic. And we'd love to see it back again. Local 2 is a proud sponsor of this event. We want to let people know when it's coming up. Bayou City Arts Festival at Memorial Park. Dates there on your screen, 23 3rd and 25th, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Adults are $10, 12 and under are free. Eric and Jill, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank we you. appreciate it. Absolutely. I wouldn't miss it. You're watching ABC 13, Houston's News Leader. Live with Tom Cook, Minerva Perez, Casey Curry, and Don Nelson. This is 13 Eyewitness News This Morning, Houston's News Leader. Oh, one road trip, it's going to be the Bayou City 10th Annual Spring Art Festival. It's this Friday through Sunday, Memorial Park in the Picnic Loop. Great place for that. They'll be putting up all sorts of great artwork and activities for you. There's the number to call. Go to our website at abc13.com, and if you have a road trip, you can post it there while you're there. Okay? Great. You've already got something for us to do next weekend. We're This news at four. Oh, one of the neatest events of the year, the Bayou City Arts Festival. Only days away now, and it is our hometown live, and we are going to get a sneak peek. We're going to introduce you to an artist who calls herself an urban archaeologist. Stephanie Guadiana is live at Memorial Park to explain exactly what that means. Stephanie? Yeah, it's actually a man that we met earlier today. As you said, this weekend is the festival. There's going to be some 300 artists out here selling their works to the public. And today, we met one of those artists who showed us that beauty is literally right under your feet. It's called urban archaeology. You know the one that was uh, with the holes in it? Like, and I these students was... from the High School of Performing and Visual Arts are getting a hands-on lesson. Today's task, spotting and photographing history embedded in the streets beneath us. Many times you don't really know what the object is. It, be it becomes something else when it lives in the street. It's, it's hammered day after day after day with heat and cars and pressure, and they morph. 
Artist Kim Enlo first started to notice the small objects in Houston's asphalt while skating. Once he started, he couldn't stop. Downtown is really a place I'm looking a lot. His hobby of photographing his urban finds led to an art book titled My Mother's Inventions. So when you put them all together, it's, it's like a more of an interesting language of what's embedded in the street, tells more about us. It's like a urban archaeology. So I thought as a way of really communicating it, I would take photographs of them. These bottle caps outside a Montrose convenience store may be trash, but Edlo believes they are also pieces of history reflecting a moment in time. Well, at first, I was, I don't know, I thought he was a little bit kooky, but uh, once I got to know him, I saw a lot of his work, I started to like it a lot. And um, he does a lot of really interesting stuff. The budding student artist took their own photos. It's like really genuine when he was talking about his stuff and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really nice and interesting and like it kind of made me like more observant of when I was walking. They say art is everywhere and if you stop long enough you may just find it underfoot. A simple piece of plastic once it lives in the street for a while can become something else. That's what the, yeah. the collection really points to that what happens to the things that live in the street. Back live now, you can see some of the preparations that are underway for this weekend's festival. You should know that there is no public parking in Memorial Park during the festival. There is, however, free shuttle service 9.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. to and from the park on Friday from Northwest Mall and on Saturday and Sunday from the Northwest Mall and also downtown. Once again, 300 artists will be out here selling their work to the public. It's a very popular event and let's just hope that the weather holds out for us. Stephanie, you just mentioned one uh, of the artists there, but as you say, there are some 300. Just a variety, I think what, what makes the Bayou City Arts Festival so exciting is just the tremendous variety of art available there. Yeah, I haven't actually seen it in person. I hope to go this year, but it's not just uh, photography. It's painting and sculpture, any kind of art, you name it, it's going to be out here. All right. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Glad I'm reporting live from Memorial Park today. walk in the park this weekend where you'll find both natural and man-made beauty. This weekend Memorial Park hosts the Bayou City Art Festival. See hundreds of pieces including everything from paintings to sculptures, photography and more. From KPRC, you're watching Local 2 News at 4. Don't forget the Bayou City Art Festival is this weekend. We are proud sponsors. Looks like a perfect weekend for it. You get all your weather at clickthehouston.com. Oh, Frank, what a great tie-in. He must have known what he was coming must have next. Known. Mm, okay. My, my. My, my. <laughs> well, if this great weather has you wanting to head outside, as Frank said, we have perfect reason. Get to the Bayou City Art <laughs> Festival. It runs this weekend. Friday through Sunday, Memorial Park, once again, is the location. Starts every day at 10 a.m., wraps up at 6. More information? Easy to do. Go to clicktohouston.com or call 713-521-0133. Next on Great Day Houston. Now, live from the Channel 11 studios, it's Great Day Houston, and here's your host, Whitney Casey. Good morning, everybody. Yes, I'm out here at Memorial City for the Bayou City Arts Festival, voted one of the top 10 most favorite festivals in the country, probably in the world too, only because there's something for everybody, as you can see behind me, the dancers, We've got food, we've got fun, entertainment, and not only for me and you, but for the little ones too. And I'm here with Sarah. Okay, Sarah, we're taking care of the kiddos, aren't we? Oh yes, there's something for everyone. We've got the 12 charity partners of the festival here with an activity for each one. And we've got the Orange Show coming out with all of their mini art cars. So oh, everyone we're starting can them decorate young. their own art car and take it home with them. Then we've also got Mardi Gras mask making, feather prints, the museum's providing bugs and 
bouquets so uh -huh. you can make your favorite bug. And the YMCA is making jewelry. Ooh. Did you make that yourself? I did. <laughs> okay, so how long is this going to keep us entertained? Because, you know, the kiddos, they're all over the place. Well, with 12 activities and each one taking you at least 15 minutes, you're good for a good while. And the parents can be involved, too. We've got supplies for everyone. Awesome. And y'all are going to be out here all weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're here. Okay, well, even though I belong at this table, somebody that doesn't belong at this table is Mr. Ted Ellis. He's an artiste, and he's got some fantastic stuff this weekend, don't you? Yes, I do. I'll be exhibiting my um, Bayou City Jazz and Blues um, series. Ooh, okay, and you've been painting for a while. I see that stuff over there. I've been, yes, I've been at it professionally now a little bit over um, 15 years. Okay, so you're going to be out here all weekend. Yeah, I'll, I'll be here the whole weekend. I'll actually be painting on location. I encourage everybody to bring their family members out, friends, the wonderful art patrons will come, will continue to come out and participate. So um, we're going to have a great time. We are going to have a great time. And one of my favorite things out here is the food. So if I bring you some, say, brisket, you like brisket, right? Definitely brisket, yes. Okay, if I bring you brisket, will you teach me? Because this is the extent of my uh, art. I will give you the Stick art figure. lesson 101, where we'll learn about the, um, the values of uh, perception depth and color. Ooh, yeah. okay. Now, now you're getting you're getting too much for me. Okay, well, we can't wait to come see you. And now we're going to see you. Right now you're looking at the Houston Metropolitan Dance Company, and I've got Michelle here. And Michelle, what kind of dance would you call this? This is contemporary dance. It's a mixture of jazz, ballet, and modern. And modern. And they're going to be, let's see, they've been dancing for how long? Most of these, these are all professional dancers, and so this is their career. And so we have everything from 18 all the way up to, whoa, 25, 26. Goodness, and they're in some great shape. Now, are they, they're not going to be out here all weekend, right? No, they <laughs> will be only performing on Saturday at 4 o'clock. Um, our normal season, our next performance that is just us at the Wortham Center is April 27th. And you can see two hours of the most diverse dancing in Houston. They do. And do you think they would teach me how to make this? Easily. Go jump in the middle. Okay. They love it. Okay. I'm going to try I'm going to try this out. It's called Contemporary. I don't know about all this. Okay. Where do you want me, guys? Go anywhere. <laughs> okay. This is too much fun for one morning. Obviously, the action is going on live. For more information, you can go to BayouCityArtFestival.com. Now, live, local news daybreak at 5 a.m. Today, Memorial Park is transforming into an art gallery. KPRC Local 2, once again, a proud sponsor of this year's Bayou City Art Festival. It runs through Sunday. For parking information, a list of artists, anything you need to know, go to Click2Houston.com. From KPRC, you are watching Local 2 News at 10. It looks like the weather will be great for the Bayou City Art Festival. Yeah, the festival started today. It runs throughout the weekend. More than 300 artists have set up their booths in Memorial Park. Once you're there, you'll be able to buy everything from paintings to pottery. There will also be some live performances for you to enjoy. The show is open 10 to 6 Saturday and Sunday. KPRC Local 2 is a proud sponsor. For parking information and a list of artists, Go to click2houston.com. Really good time, and it's in the shade. Yes, it is. An added bonus. Well From your Gulf Coast weather with Orange, this is Fox 26 Morning News. Happy Friday, everyone. It's time for the Bayou City Art Festival, the spring edition. We're here this morning with the featured artist, Michael McKee. And look, we already have some artistic shoppers in the area here. Or could that be our friends from the Core Principal Dance Company? We'll find out when we come back. <laughs> and good morning. We're live in Memorial Park for the Bayou City Art Festival, the spring edition here with our featured artist, Michael McKee from Chicago. When did you find that you were going to be the featured artist for the show? Uh, last year at this time, uh, I was at the show. I was one of the artists at the show, and uh, the board of directors at the Art Colony came around and selected me uh, to be the featured artist. Was there an acceptance speech? Did you cry or anything? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm always crying. I want to thank all the little people. <laughs> so what makes this uh, Houston show so special? This is your fourth year to be here? Uh, third year. Third year. Uh, I do sh shows all around the country, and the Art Colony, they, they really put together a great show. It's so well organized, and they get high-quality uh, art artist here and it's it's just one of the best shows I do now this is uh, oil on canvas or these are pastels actually Ooh, and most nice. people 